Hello, my name is Perry Manoli and I'm the developer of Railroad Automation. Railroad Automation is a model railroad control program designed to operate with DCC command stations that employ the local net network. So I'm going to assume that you have a compatible command station, a PC interface, and it's all on and, and working and operational. The most common PC interface is the local buffer and it's many variants. But there's several others out there that will work as well. There is one, however, that I do not recommend, and that's the MS-100 from Digitrax. It just doesn't have the precision timings in the hardware that are required by the LocoNet spec. So probably the first thing you'll want to do is get connected to the LocoNet network. For that, I'm going to go to the application Start and click on Options. These are the three settings you'll have to change to match your interface. The COM port drop-down will enumerate all the devices that are connected. I have a USB local buffer 2, which currently happens to be mapped to COM 3, so I'm going to set it to that. Yours may be mapped to something different. The default for these other two are fine for the local buffer, but if you might have to change them for your interface. Just check your interface documentation for that. For example, the Uhlenbrock doesn't do flow control, so you'll have to turn that off. But for now, I'm going to leave it on. One other thing, make sure you have the echo back feature enabled on your interface. I think most have it on by default these days. Railroad automation relies heavily on this feature being on, so just check to be sure. Now that we're done with that, let's click OK and exit out of here. Before the new settings can be applied, we'll have to disconnect and reconnect from the LocoNet network. Notice that we're currently connected because uh, that happens automatically when we start the application. But we're currently connected with the wrong settings. So we have to go up here and disconnect. And then reconnect back. The moment I reconnect, notice that we can see the packet flow being reported in the LocoNet's log. That's how you can verify that your settings are correct. Since these settings have now been saved, the next time you start the app, you'll immediately connect to the right settings and you'll be on your way. So that's it for the first tutorial. Thanks for listening.